Okay, this is problem 9-14, and you have this element shown. Um, first thing to do is to indicate, indicate which way your stress is going to get. Um, your stress, normal in X, going in is compression, so you'll make that negative 30. You have no Y, so just make that 0, because you have nothing coming this way. Now your shear, you got to be careful about this. This is going clockwise here, between this one and this one. So you just make your shear xy is equal to negative 12. All right, now to find your principal stresses, you're going to get two of them, 1, 2, and you're just going to use this equation here, the normal x plus normal y divided by 2 plus or minus the square root of, and again, this is one you're just going to have to memorize, your normal x minus normal y divided by 2. That's all going to be squared. And then you're going to, in this case, plus, now even though this negative, you've got to put it in just parentheses. Okay, now we can plug the values in. So we get the principal of 1, 2, comma 2. You come over here to negative 30 plus 0 divided by 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 30 minus 0 divided by 2. We'll square that plus negative 12, square that, and we do it, that'll give us principal of 1 as 4.21 KSI, normal 2 as negative 34.2 KSI. Again, you're always going to get two values because you're doing a plus or minus. All right. Now what you want to do is you want to find out what the angles are going to be. And the equation you're going to use here is just the tangent of, oops, tangent, sorry. The tangent of 2 theta is going to be your shear stress over theta x, sorry, not theta, normal x minus normal y all over 2. We'll put those numbers in and here we'll get negative 12. Again, signs are critical. You got to get this right. That gives you minus 30 minus 0 divided by 2. Now that value is going to give you a value of 0.8. So what you do is you got to take the inverse tangent. 2 theta is equal to the inverse tangent of 0.8 and you'll get a value and then what you have to do with that value is take that and divide that by 2 that's going to give you two values that's going to give you theta principal it's going to equal to 19.33 and then theta principal is going to give you negative 70.67. Now the thing to note about uh, tangents is you're going to be working in the first and fourth quadrant. So if you think about it here, even though you may get an angle up here, you're always going to have one down here also. So you're going to be working this quadrant and this quadrant here. All right. So now what we can do is um, we can go. We're going to go back and determine um, the um, excuse me what the angles are going to be for our excuse me what our, what our normal stresses are going to be. Now we go back to our normal and x prime. And what I mean by x prime is we're going to we're going to be rotating this. We just don't know how much. We know well we do because we've run these angles. But we'll run the value, and this will make more sense. 
And to do this, you're just going to set that equal to your normal x plus normal y over 2 plus normal x minus normal y over 2 times the cosine of 2 theta plus the shear xy of the sine of 2 theta. And again, these equations are just given in your book, and now you just put the values in. And what this is going to do is going to help you determine which one has the which one of these stresses that we have up here are associated with which one of these angles. And so I put the value in here, gives me minus 30 plus 0 over 2 plus minus 30 minus 0 over 2. Put the cosine, and we'll do the first thing, first one, uh, the 19.33. So the cosine of 2 times 19.33. And then we go back and we do minus 12. That's our shear stress times the sine. Let me put another one of these in there. Sine of 2 times 19.33. When you run that value there, you'll get x prime as negative 34.2 KSI. And you go back there and you see you've already calculated it right here. So what that tells you is that the normal, oh, do it in the other color, the normal 2, which is equal to negative 34.2, is going to use the 19.33 degree. Now you can run this again with a negative 70.67 and what you'll get by doing that is you'll get theta 1 value of 4.21. Draw those arrows, arrows, and this is negative 40.67. Okay, so what that means is, now we'll just draw a triangle here. Make a big triangle and I'll, I'll reverse it here. It means that we're going to take this triangle, we're going to rotate it just like this. And what we're doing is, I'll draw this line kind of through here. And we go back, and what we're doing is we know the 19.33 19 is associated with the negative 34.2, so I show this coming back in here. So what that means is this angle right here, and I'll do this in red, is going to be the 19.33 angle, and the value of this is going to be 34.2 is the normal stress that's going in. <clears throat> now the other one is 4.21, it's positive, so it's going back out like this. And we make this one to be 4.21. I should make this KSI. KSI. And that means that this angle here has got to be 70.67. And note that these two angles here add together got to be 9 degrees. They have to be. All right, so far so good. And then we can figure out what our max uh, shear is going to be by using another equation. Again, there's so many of these equations you've got to memorize. And the, the max shear is equal to the square root of theta x, sorry theta, normal x minus normal y divided by 2. I'm going to square that plus the shear stress xy squared. We'll run that value. We got minus 30 minus 0 divided by 2. 
and we got squared plus then our shear, which again is minus 12 squared. When you run that, you're going to get 19.2 KSI. Now, since that is going, uh, since that value is going to be positive, we'll be showing that to go back up along this, going up this way. And that value there is going to be um, your 19.2. Okay, now the last thing to do is we can find average stress. And the average is just going to be this value here. You just average the x's, the y's, and divide that by 2. When you do that, you're going to get minus 30 plus 0 divided by 2, which gives you a value there of minus 15. So we know right now that that has to go back in since it's negative. And it goes back in this way. And it'll be normal to the surface at negative 15 KSI. Okay, now you can find this angle here um, coming off here. And you could do it by just using geometry, using the 45 degree that you rotated. However, you can also get it from this equation here. Again, all these are given into in the textbook. Is the tangent theta of the shear that's going to equal to minus normal on x minus normal on y. divided by 2, oh, I forgot the 2, I need to put a 2 in here, I'm sorry, over 2, divided by, uh, not divided, yeah, divided by 2, and then div take that and divide that by your shear stress. So we'll run those values here, that gives me a minus, a minus 30, minus 0, over 2, and then divided by negative 12, here, and when you run that value there, you'll get negative 1.25. Okay, again, what you have to do is you say the 2 theta s is going to equal to the inverse tan of negative 1.25. Get that value here and divide by 2, and you're going to again, you get it, you got to consider two values, and remember these two values added together will give you 9 degrees and this will give you negative 25.7 and 64.3 again you're in the first and fourth quadrant so if this is 25.7 then this angle right here will be 25.7 degrees alright so really that's um, pretty much most of the problem right here um, I think there's anything else there to go over. Really, there's not. So just pretty much follow those procedures. Um, again, and most of it's just putting in the formulas and just plugging out the numbers. All right. Best of luck.